Okay, so, Eddie. Yes. This is called the Kegel exercise. Wow. What <laughs> happens in the Kegel exercise? <laughs> you just I just started in. sweating. <laughs> just fill in the blank. Okay. And you can take a pass. Close friends describe me as... Early. <laughs> Strangers tend to describe me as... Childlike. <laughs> Only I know that I am... Ah, uh, pass. <laughs> Too revealing. My, my last meal would be what? I would eat it with whom? Okay, oh great. So my last meal would be something called frito de mozzarella, which is this amazing thing from a restaurant in France um, that is deep fried mozzarella. We call that cheese sticks in the States. Cheese sticks. <laughs> cheese sticks. And, and but you're talking about really, really good cheese sticks. It would be with my, my, um, my wife and baby. <laughs> The song that always makes me dance is... God, it's um, too hum humiliating. Uh, well, I... Um, it, it's always humiliating. It's, it's always... Um, wh which one specifically would make me dance? Why is it whenever I get asked questions about music, all I can hear in my head is like the worst <laughs> possible response to that answer? Let me say... Um, well, actually, I find it quite... A this is actually quite a melancholic one, but Dance Me to the End of Love by Leonard Cohen. It's a kind of gentle dance, but it's not one of those dances. Uh -huh. It's more of that dance. Like that. Yeah. The movie I've seen the most times. Um, Chariots of Fire. I think I'm really good at... At... Uh, I think I'm really good at making spaghetti bolognese. I feel sexiest when I am... <sighs> No. I bet I know your answer to that because you're what? a great, you know what, because people who are great dressers, which you are, feel sexy. Like Ryan Reynolds, who's yeah. literally he's the, the, the sexiest, sexiest man, man alive. in the world. Yeah, yeah. in a um, suit. He says when he's in a three-piece suit. suit. Yeah, I've got to say in like a, I, I wouldn't go three-piece, I'd say a good, uh, yeah, interestingly not a tux. Yeah. Maybe in, maybe in, uh, in uh, yeah, just a suit. I wouldn't be caught dead in a, uh, in a, um, in a, I'm going to come to this, in a sparkly tuxedo. <laughs> I start every day by doing, uh, having a, doing a bath. <laughs> you do a bath. I love baths. I'm obsessed with baths. Do you know who else loves baths? Tom Ford. Tom Ford does, yeah, and I've never, I, I, I've never bonded with Tom over this, but I read a really beautiful interview with him the other day explaining his reasoning, and it's for exactly the same reason that I love them. I find it like, if you've done something during the day and you then have to compartmentalize it to going to the next part of the day mm -hmm. to start afresh, for me it's about submerging my head in water, and I know that's in dot, but you can have a quick bath, you can, have, you can be in and out of the bath, and it just starts you all over again. It's also about meditation. Yeah. It's a moment to meditate. I know, but my problem is, is that I make baths so hot. My wife is endlessly pissed <laughs> off about this. I make them so hot that I'm like, oh, I'm just going to have a relaxing bath. But I'm out in about three seconds because I start sweating. <laughs> so she's like, well, what's the point? Like, and then you have to wait to cool off and then probably, you're late. And ideally, you should probably have a shower after the right. bath because you started sweating again. Or, yeah, it's very, <laughs> very complicated. The thing about myself I've learned to love is... Um, that I'm a warrior. The teacher I'm most grateful for is... Simon Dormandy and Hales Osborne, who were two um, drama teachers when I was at school. I love the smell of... Oh, God, so many. That's really... Um, I love the smell of freshly cut grass, but it's f subsequently, or then, followed by a deep sneeze because I get really <laughs> bad hay fever. <laughs> I could talk about blank for hours on end. I could talk about theater. My recurring nightmare is... Waking up late. <laughs> Happened this morning. <laughs> I can sum up my life in this bumper sticker. Well, it's not so much a, s a sum up life, but it's a bit of a mantra for me, is take life step by step, pace by pace, slowly, slowly, and leave the competition to others.
That would have to be like on a truck. That's on a truck. A bumper sticker is big. Huge. It wasn't written by me, Chekhov, right? I know me. Hey everybody, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it. And for more of the Jess Cagle interview, click on the subscribe button down here. We've got plenty of other great videos for you too. Check them out by clicking on one of these links.